again uh, welcome to singapore market is group team uh, i hope uh, you are there in the last couple of sessions as well but without you really don't require any introduction for sure so uh, me and myself and one of my co colleague janeshwar so we started this group and then we are just giving the great content across the trial blazer community and today's our session is uh, you know b2b commerce uh, which you are working on different uh, which you are talking on today's session with different uh, capabilities in b2b commerce of course we have session 1 2 3 will recap again and myself anindra and uh, we have great figure abdul and is one of the b2b expert and of course he has suffered in suffering with fever from last couple of days of course he has uh, took some time today and then he has want to give some uh, good topics on b2b commerce today as well and uh, and today we have a session 4 uh, we have different kind of steps which i already shared the document with everyone before the session starts so that it will help you for you to manage if anything any step you missing or you can go back and then try it out yourself after the session as well okay any questions you could just send us directly a message in the trial blazer community group or else you can post us in linkedin as well so this is the agenda for session 4 we can talk about uh, contact point addresses for consent and uh, buyer run times and check out flows as well as uh, uh, design your b2b store front experience pdp pages buyer Uh, some cart flows and uh, wish list, uh, some reports as well as uh, some reports to the commerce app, and we can talk about the one which uh, you know Sandeep asked us how to create a cancel order flow to the order summary detail page. So I'll be covering many of the things in B2B in this session, and uh, again thank you so much for joining in the weekend, and I would really love to uh, have your feedback as well at the end of the session. Uh, please share your feedback as well. the most important thing so all through the session mentioned as in our tweet with the hashtag uh, and probably you can stand a chance to win some certification vouchers as well this is something good so probably if anyone wants certification vouchers you could just mention as in tweets and then the uh, you can filter out the tweets among us uh, among all the people and then we could give you the vouchers okay so the basics that what i have told for all the sessions so requesting to learn the basic steps for b2b commerce cloud which is CMS, Flows, Lightning Web Components, and Experience Cloud as well. And there are some of the trial head modules we would love to understand the basics of B2B Commerce Cloud. And at the same time, uh, our 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 speaker Abdul has uh, you know uh, given a lot of trial head uh, trial mixes as well for everyone to understand about uh, what what definitely help you on the B2B profession, <coughs> B2B specialist, and B2B Lightning Web Component, including Flows and other elements as well. Uh, i would like uh, you know our speaker abdul can give his introduction so that after that i could recap some sessions and then we can start the session for yeah. go ahead abdul yeah thank you fanindra first of all good morning good afternoon based on your time zone and welcome to singapore marketer groups my name is abdul mulla and i'm the technical lead is at dcs which is at tcs so today our topic is uh, i think last session so last topic how we will implement the cancel order right so we'll show you in the practical this from my side thank you abdul so if you can go back to the recap of sessions right uh, so in session 1 we covered uh, the activation of b2b commerce org and we enable the b2b commerce uh, prerequisite <coughs> with experience cloud enable commerce place uh, uh, order preferences and all the stuff and after that we done some profile permissions permissions etc as well and in our session 2 we covered uh, configure sharing settings and uh, data element organization wide defaults and the uh, free level security for multiple objects and we created permission sets and we assign permissions to the respective distributors or merchandisers and we finished the commerce setup in our third session we covered the loading some sample data uh, of the products and we build some cms we have done some mapping creation and we have done some catalog categories products and categories and we have done some uh, you know community cloud components and product and price book structures and uh, registration classes configure checkout flow store integration services and all the store and we finally learned about how to activate the store and how to manage the store settings and administration and in session 4 uh, we're going to talk about uh, the details about the cancellation of orders and multiple other details as well as per the agenda okay 
So let's start with our demo and hands on session four and uh, keep post your questions in chat. So I'll happy to help you out or else after the session, uh, Abdul is going to help you out on the respective queries. Feel, please feel free to ping us on any time for any kind of help. Thank you. Over to you, Abdul. Yeah, uh, thank you for giving me the host access, please. Over to you. Give me the host access, please. So I'm hmm. unable to. Unable I think to I give it to Komal. Uh, sorry, Komal, can you pass the host to Abdul? Sorry. Uh, Komal, you're there. Okay, just click, uh, Komal, just you clicked on your, uh, just clicked on Abdul Molla and then, yeah, change him to make, make him as a host, that's it. Just click on Abdul Mollas and then you can change him to. Yeah, can you share your screen? No, still. No, to Komal, I, Komal, can you share your screen? We can guide you out. Okay, what you can do is you can go to the participants. Participants. Yeah, participants. Yeah. Now you can click on Abdul Mullah. Yeah, just click on more. More. Click on more. Yeah. Uh, make host. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, you can go ahead, Abdul. Yeah. Thank you. And uh, first of all, I want to say a message. So if anyone has any challenge related to B2B lightning or storefront setup or this press, whatever, just connect with our Kolkata developer group. So I'm available all the time. Or you can directly connect with me via LinkedIn. So I'll reply or personally, I will help you. If you face any challenge. So today topics only for 16 topics. So first uh, create an assigned contact point address, login form contacts, and maximum topics if you are familiar with the digital experience, it would be easier for you. So first, what is contact point address? Contact point address basically. So I'm showing one example. Click on view card. Click on proceed to check out. This is the actual contact point address. There's two types. One is bling, another one is sitting. Go to your own. Click on particular account. If you, you can set multiple billing as well as setting.
I have added two things. One is billing, another one is shipping. And some uh, take a note, contact point address match with account address, not contacts. If you think, though already we have some contact details on contact object, but not. Contact point address match with account address, not contacts. And is the default way to assert address to an account with B2B course legs. And it's fully depends on checkout process. You can have multiple shipping and billing address and assign as per your requirement, you can set it. <clears throat> Next, B2B runtime is bad. Sometimes you may not be get the exact this layout button. So better go to the contact object. Click on a name. Just let me go to the exact path. Click on contact. This thing. If this particular button log into the experience user, then add it. If you already added, no issue. Then go ahead. So for the B2B runtime as a buyer, step is go to the particular user, click on the particular user. Just say Jessica in. Click on permission set assignment. This one. Click on it. Edit assignment. Will be to be commerce user. As per your requirement, you can set. Next topic. Our next topic is login from contact. So from the lighting quick action, definitely you will get the option. Put this contact. Find out with exact user, just say Jesse coin. This particular quick action or button link is not available, then please add in your respective layout. There is two options. Either you can log in or <clears throat> set on user ID password. So 
so you can directly log in or you can set one particular user id password you can log in you get exact thing no issue next up next topic is our checkout verify after configuring entire runtime as a buyer <coughs> all the details first try to click on checkout process just check whatever you have configured is working properly or not if you miss anything related to uh, maybe some uh, flow related mistake then not able to proceed the checkout and this step will get on exception so make sure all the shipping details ship to or bill to in this cycle you will get on exception if your all the custom is uh, related to checkout process or so not configured properly in this step you will get on exception then what you have to do it may be you have wrongly assigned some another a uh, checkout process or it may be you did not configure it properly so just i'm showing you another things click on this tool Click on it. Click on Experience Builder. Just search here as a checkout page. Check out. Click on checkout details. This is a checkout flow. You have to map exact checkout flow. Suppose you have cloned it, you have create new checkout flow template. You already forget it. But then you will not unable to place an order. Our next topic is entitlement. Entitlement basically why you use it. Suppose you have two buyer group. One is uh, India, one is UK buyer group. You have some, you have multiple products. You want to show some discount based on independent is buyer group. So. You can configure it. It's a fully configuration part. You can configure it. You can show the discount offer also. Based on this particular entitlement, you can set some discount. So this step basically, uh, there is a simple step. Click on entitlement policy. Just check. 
have multiple products. So I have created on entitlement policies. In this entitlement, I have added related products. And there is a buyer group. You can assign it. If you have multiple buyer group, you can set. After entitlement policy, just like how to show the volume based discount or tier discount, I'm showing you something on sample. Just I have two products. One is code. Just check one to five percent. Five is five percent, six to ten is eight percent. But another one. Yeah, I understand. One to ten would get ten percent. Eleven to twenty would get up fifteen percent. Is fully related to price adjustment schedule. So in the price adjustment schedule, basically you have to create on price adjustment schedule similar to this one. Just click on related list, just check. I have mentioned lower bound, upper bound, and tiered value and respective price book I have added here. After configuring all the price adjustment schedule, maybe you have to click on search index. So in the price adjustment schedule, there's two options. So just like uh, test today, there's two options, range and slab. As per your requirement, you have to choose that. I will use range or slab. So if you save, click on save, you'll get a tier. So to add, say one to 10, one to 10, there is two options. Adjustment percentage, adjustment amount. So personally, if you put that's 10, save it. It's not active yet, right? Click on add price book. Add your respected price book. Click on next. In this section, you have to choose your product. Which project product you are going to show? You are going to offer five percent or ten percent? All the things. You have to check like this one. One, two, three. We are going to give some some discount, and just have to finish. Next step is related to <clears throat> some uh, community builder setup. Already have open it, experience builder. This one. If you want to change something, I'm showing you one day one. <clears throat>
if you want, if you want to choose some theme change, so you can choose here. So total six, seven, temple seven level. So you can choose any one of them. So if I apply here, then look and feel which change already have applied this one. So similarly, you can change it. Color and image as per your requirement is a company logo means you'll get your logo in the left end. Login page, your login page details, image if you want. You can set your image. All the things are completely configurable. Suppose you want to change some header part, so click on it. Definitely, you will get on option menu item alignment. You can set your left. Just check always it will left or right or center. As per your requirement, you can configure it to that. Default navigation, you can use customize as per the requirement, you can maximum size. And in this setup, uh, already have shown you how to change the theme. Only most important things you have to allow the single trust this this person. Your original community site and the document dot force because it's part of CMS. If you you have to add some mandatory, otherwise you will not get your product image it's not displayed. Those who are expert in community cloud, this might be easiest for us. Anything you want to configure some product detail space, you can also configure some home page navigation, whatever you can configure according as per your requirement. It's fully configurable and these things. Suppose if you want to some quick order place. So from the setup, you can mention. So if you want three number of lines, two, you can configure it with that. Obviously, to decode to show is the easiest things. So better, <clears throat> also the cancel order. After that, we'll discuss out the certification, the total of it is. For the cancel a particular order, the first step, just check. I have implemented one cancel order. This particular order, cancel order. This is not the out of the box functionality. So, how I have developed this so for the cancel order flow. 
<clears throat> first is a quick action correct so i'm showing you step by step and our object name is order summary right so click on it Click on order summary. Click on button link action. Just check this cancel order. In this particular quick action button, I have called a particular flow. Flow my flow name is cancel order summary. Cancel order summary. This one. Click on it. I have all the cancel order the FS class. Nothing else. I have passed only record ID, only for the record ID. And there is our cancel order FX. You can capture this in short. So in future, we'll be able to configure it in your own. Is a cancel order. The summary ID only for testing purpose, though I have I did not implement the multiple scenario because at a time you can cancel it. If you think you can implement one particular checkbox or you can cancel multiple order at a time, that depends on the requirement. But I have shown here only single product, right? In this portion, you can on list and you have to um, change as per your requirement there's a cancel order flow for the cancel order flow first requirement is we need on uh, custom button or link we have to add in quick action next we need one particular flow and we need one FS class and you have to pass the ID order ID. Yeah, finally over to you. That's from my side today. Can you hear me? Anindra? Any question related to between commerce configuration, anything can ask me. So let me know any, any questions, team. Uh, you can you can talk and directly as well so that we can explain you while if we are in the same arc, I think we can happy to help you out and then check it out uh, if, you, if you still feel any issues. I think just share this cancel order class as well, uh, uh, Abdul, in the chat. Yeah. Maybe yeah, yeah, probably yeah, can definitely, copy definitely. Yep, sure. Maybe Raktam probably can check 
you can use this code and let's use this you know invocable apex yeah is invocable apex and uh, i'll show i'll send you the object is yeah. sort of flow yeah, this is the flow you have to pass the record id And okay. I think uh, okay. uh, let, let's Abdul one more. Let's showcase uh, the order statuses as well. Where uh, where up users or the distributors merchandises can okay. go and then check their order status okay. under their transactions. Okay. So I'm placing one order. They can place an order. Click on post to check out. Zero two two zero two two. This is our order number. Click on submit payment. Yes, the order number. This one. Let's go to our back end as well. Yes, yes, yes. Definitely, yeah. definitely. All orders summaries. Click on it. Just now you have created it. <laughs> This your all entire details, order object, history related things, order summary. <clears throat> you can click on related, so you'll get all the related information, order summaries or shipping address related. All the details you can check here. And if you the order status details, at the top, yes. yeah. Your original order, order summary, and all the entire details. Subtotal or tax including all the deals you will get. So I'm clicking on cancel order. Right? So this is status should be changed. Check the status cancel. And all the entire details you can check as well, but your product payment order cancel. <coughs> and you can generate one report. From the report, you can check it. But from the backend query, you can which product just not cancel. So this is the actual flow cancel order. Yeah. And if you want to give same features as a those are buyer manager, so what you have to do, you have to create one custom component based on the record ID or based on your requirement, you have to collect the data. And same cancel order flow you can implement there. So those who are buyer manager, suppose end user, I'm the user, I place an order. After that, I don't want this product, so I have cancel it. So, if you want to implement same feature features 
include a particular buyer manager or account feature. Those have the admin privileges. You can configure it. It's fully configurable. You can create one custom component, LWC component, and display the first entire value set. And after the same way, you can cancel. You can place order or cancel whatever you want. Funny Abdul, I have one question. Yeah. Do we have any out of the box functionality where we can customize the tax of the product? or uh, shipping uh, shipping uh, prices do we have any out of the box or it has to be done through apex no. class but through apex class there is no out of the box functionality as of now so always you have to follow the sales folks uh, salesforce lab github so there you will get always latest just i have copied these things right b2b tax sample or inverting sample and related to uh, credit card payment so I'm showing one thing related to credit card. Exact name I have forgot about this. So the, all the department related to credit card uh, payment, they'll give you some uh, default payment gateway name with uh, some unique ID, so you can test it. Yes, uh, got it. Also, there is an option for credit card payment only, right? Yes. So yes, yes. if we require any debit card or uh, something, then that can be also customizable, right? Yes. Yes, it's full customizable. Okay. You have Thank to always you. Thank clone, you. you have to copy the original name or content because uh, if you check the B2B developer code, then you will be able to understand. So why I have written like this way is a predefined, is a multiple interface, right? For the sample, shipping sample, just check SFDC checkout, cartridges, right? Car shipping charges is an interface. So in this interface, we have multiple methods. So based on a requirement, you have to override this. Just check for the showing the display details, error message or extension shipping related all the information. You have to find out the exact method and you have to pass the parameter as per your requirement. Just shipping related, what parameter I'm passing here? Card delivery group ID, delivery method ID, web card, just like your web store ID. So try to complete the admin certification first. After that, definitely I'll take another session related to B2B development. There I'll show you some hard code, some critical customization, some product functionality, some product detail space customization, some third party payment gateway implementation. Already have implement in this section. already have implemented on credit card, but exact, uh, actually I forgot the exact security key. Okay, so next day, uh, next session, so try to complete the admin certification first. After that, again, I will come, I will connect to Fanindro for B2B development setup. So it will be best if you clear the certificate, admin certificate first, it will be easier. After that, I'll guide you for the development as well. Sure, develop, uh, definitely will do. Thank you. Thank you, Abdul. Thank you for the time. And uh, for the certification related things, for the admin certificate, first in the second session, I think, related to uh, environment setup. 
you will get approximate 10 to 15 question and question like is a straightforward question there is no complex question they may ask you what is the default apps object option they will ask you the store product access pricing just simple simple and related to suppose account what is the related object related list they may uh, give you some five to six options just say like uh, suppose i'm showing one sample suppose account so in account Question will get fully straightforward question. What is the option after clicking this particular option? Which styles required and which option? Suppose uh, path for the search index. Suppose if you want to enable the order or enable to uh, report, import some custom report, what will be the path? You have to remember all the steps. And all the related list option and uh, b2b commerce uh, cloud related on trailhead is available so try to complete this trailhead first you will get the exact all the object information with entire relation just like catalog categories product price book entries all the entire details just like account in account related list we have contact point address community member external manager account contact right you will get approximately two to three questions similar to this first they will give you the contact community member and cart pricing but cart price is not part of the account related right simple question simple straightforward question you have to remember all the steps and check out related things related to community setup how how to give the particular access or how to create a buyer user or buyer manager and what is the permission set minimum permission set required for configuring this b2b store and within one week uh, i'll share some uh, sample sample scenario based question at least 20 question some based on some scenario based so i'll set this question and we will share with you guys i'll create one simple document i'll mention some question related to so that you'll able to understand what will the exact question pattern Okay, I'm going to you. Thanks, Abdul. I think it's a good session, and hopefully, we covered, we clarified most of the questions of Sandeep and uh, other uh, Rakhteens and other people questions. Uh, I think uh, uh, if any other questions, team, I think I requesting everyone to join the group that what I posted in the chat. If you join the group, then we are going to send all the material before the session and after the sessions as well for past four or five sessions. If you're not going to join the group, then it's ideally you won't get any communications. So requesting everyone to join the group as a chapter member so that you will receive the notifications. I think there are two questions actually, Abdul. Uh, can the backend be configured for MOV and or MOQ when B2B customer places an order to cart? Okay, no, there is no out of the box functionality as of now. So, but you can uh, customize it. Means target was bulk order placing, right? At a time, you will upload on CSV file and it will automatically go to the cart, right? But there is no out of the box functionality as of now. You have to customize. Okay. 
even I want I raise one question to the Salesforce hub, but till now it's not available. Maybe uh, after one to two release, they may come up with new functionality. I don't know. I have raised multiple times, so we need as per B two B concern. We have to allow for bulk order out of the box functionality. But you can configure it if you have the structure ready in your mind, just like all the relation with the entire object. If you want to customize something first, you have to find out the exact object relation with each another object. You have to figure out the relational object. After that, to go one by one. Easily you can configure it, but it's a little bit challenging. Multiple objects are associated with that checkout process. For external pricing, so yes, of course, you can configure external pricing related to CPQ pricing. You can add. So, in your order setting, order setting, there is one checkbox. You have to check this. Okay, someone is asking B2B shipping sample. Okay, I'll share with the exact link. JSON file structure. Okay, Fanindra, I'll share with you the exact JSON structure for uploading a particular product. And the store info, salpost pricing, discount and pricing. No, as per B2B, uh, interesting question, Panindro, someone asked, how can we add a cancel button to her store form? If user, particular user, after placing order, it's not the B2C. You know, the B2B and B2C, what is the main key difference is the entitlement. So if you want to add this, obviously you can add it. So then you have to create one custom component, a WC component. So by WC component, you can configure it. I don't know if it's possible or not, but you can try. How can we add a cancel button to our storefront? Uh, so you already showcased, right? Because you yes, can yes. Yeah, I think Abdul already showcased. Hi, Abdul. Hi. Uh, can we add the delivery methods like any courier services and the estimated date of delivery? Yes, 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 yes. So that's the part of development process. That's why I did not. So even uh, you can, there is two options. Either you can choose a WC code or you can add in a particular flow. So in a shipping instruction, there is a out of the box flow. You have to customize that. So I'll show you at the time of development session how to add, uh, how to change the internal flow, how to add particular delivery method, just like that. There's an option, easily you can do that. It's possible. Oh. Okay, okay, thank you. It's a part of development. Thanks, Abdul. Yeah. Any other questions, Steve? Funny, not sure how inventory management is working inventory management so after the shipping so you'll get to know the yes. pieces and all the stuff right so, so you have to manage yeah go ahead go ahead abdul yeah so there is uh, another two certification already ap is a uh, uh, order management lightning so there is three uh, section order management lightning admin development and architect so basically after place an order, right? So your order management system will come into the picture. So it's possible. Inventory management is part of uh, order management, I think. 
uh, like abdul uh, no actually my question is that uh, when we are setting up the store in administration tab uh, we will add the inventory management uh, checkout flow pricing methods right okay. so in that inventory management uh, how that it is working like uh, if customer is adding one product uh, where where we can see that that product quantity is reduced okay okay is a you have to check the entire backend object right so is multiple object associate to that uh, shipping or billing or all the interrelated things so basically you have to check the order summary order summary order group summary details we have multiple object so order delivery method is there order payment summaries order summaries so order payment uh, summary you will get the entire details for order right. delivery method see how it works for inventory it's it's there are two ways right the inventory is something like uh, uh, you know you can buy service and fulfill anywhere with the entire shopping experience with real time inventory right so typically how it works is currently in in salesforce order management is not part of the thing it it has another product called oms order management system which can satisfy and uh, bring the respect of inventory shipping uh, structure and all the details the other things are of course there are there are some companies who provide their entire system for full way fulfillment uh, right so initially what we can do is we will integrate the system in order to manage the expectations but out of the box in salesforce there is no such kind of functionality uh, uh, i mean such kind of functionality is not got you got you thank you thank you for I think there is uh, pretty much uh, maturity required in terms of their entire, uh, you know, uh, system itself. Uh, in terms of manage your e-commerce orders and to process orders, manage inventory and streamline fulfillment with a goal that what uh, the customer is expecting for, right? So it will take some time. But there is a product called uh, not a B two B. There is a product called OMS called Salesforce Order Management, uh, which is going to cover all these kind of functionalities normally. So ideally, what people will go people will go ahead as if they want to build a fulfillment system because 80% of the customers currently want to build their fulfillment structure out outside of the salesforce okay. with the erp or with any sap oracle or any other systems now salesforce also brought a product called oms called order management system which is a separate product altogether uh, and that oms can be talk and integrate to b2b commerce it's a different product altogether so people are now purchasing oms and then integrating with the b2b integrating with cdp Right, all these fancy elements are there. I think probably I can talk about that details in the next session. I think you will get some more idea on inventory fulfillment as well. Yes, right. It will be very helpful to know like how that function is working. Definitely, I think uh, I'm going to talk about some convergence of the digital and physical commerce world, uh, and I'm going to expand it uh, and to deep uh, taking them to the understanding of the business to business consumer and business to business commerce experience. of course we give some kind of new set of customer expectations uh, the order life cycle now how extended well beyond the buy button and there is a huge shift to bring the post purchase experience out of the box and the back office people front office people with the customer touch experience i think i'm going to talk about these elements probably in the next session for shaping consumer shopping behavior and expectations okay yes thank you thank you also like can you show how that account switch user is working uh, we have assigned that permission right like account use switch user but how that can be how that is working that account switch user permission account switcher right account switcher yeah yes okay yeah, yeah. Can... yeah yeah so uh, i will share with you on document so if you basically configure basically what you have to do uh, you have to create one permission set and in the permissions system permission you have to assign particular permission set i will send you on top there i will show you how to configure the account feature but in the b2b uh, if you have the enterprise org then you will get this functionality but in your developer org you may not be get the exact option because we know is a limited space and a free of edition right so better if right. you have the enterprise org then i will send you on top i will guide you how to configure one particular account account feature 
Sure. Okay. sure. Yes. I think uh, someone request posted something. I have the one more thing and somehow related to MOV and MOQ. Generally in B2B, particularly in FMCG industry, the delivery the delivery normally gets optimized to ensure each single trip to maximum cargo gets suffered with products in FCL. Wherever it's applicable, while the customer places an order in the B2B portal, will it require customizations to handle the uh, efforts at use case? Of course, it has required the customizations, uh, Rick. It's not something which we cannot be able to manage. That's what I'm saying, right? So this this uh, cargo gets cargo or MOV, MOQ kind of things. So generally, uh, talkative or a kind of naming conventions for the FMCG industries. Uh, this normally kind of implemented as a with a customizable way. So we have to. There's no such model available, but you have to build a model and then provide a use case that what you're looking for. Another this is the exam it is. So B2B commerce basic will get 15% question. Salesforce B2B commerce F 20%. And a store a store from deployment 20%, product organization administration 15%. Content integration, 7%. Store management and advanced topic is the exam it is. And 75% is passing marks. You have to carry the 75% at least. So are we going to give any tips or tricks, uh, you know, in yeah. the next session, in the next session or any other session of this? Yeah, yeah. I will send you uh, some, basically I have to prepare some question. Definitely, okay. I'll share with, share with you so that you'll be able to pass because it's 75% pass pass. This is tough. I'll be, definitely, I'll give you some tips. Okay, maybe I'll conduct one more session, maybe in the next couple of uh, weeks. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, then I think I'll share. I, I am also updating, uh, I'm also checking entire document, something in the middle of this, uh, we have update something. So I am also updating in my document. Definitely uh, funny, I will share with you. Yeah. Okay, so I'll share my screen team. Again, thank you for joining. Uh, we have 10 minutes. Uh, I'll share again and I'll continue. Abdul, can I have, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, the host permissions, please? Yeah. And, and team, don't worry. So we'll help you out on any such kind of questions or anything uh, in the coming sessions as well. And uh, please join the group so that you'll get a relevant update. So a few people asking me the questions about where we get the material of uh, uh, one, two, three, four sessions. As I said, I'll show you where the data and all this available. So see, today is our session, right? So in the session, you can look at uh, you can look at the details about session one recording, two, three recording. And for every session, I send you the material of uh, session one, two, three materials as well. Because when you go to this, right? So today I've sent uh, a message to, uh, yeah, so this materials. I'm sending a message like this. Or else I'll send one more consolidated email after this session. Probably you guys will receive all the session one, two, three, four document material step by step activities as well. Okay. Okay. So let's go to our session. So I think it's a, I hope it's a fruitful session. So our rest of the sessions are in next session and next Saturday. We can talk about uh, Connect REST API OMS integration, the one which I'm talking about, how to connect uh, Salesforce B2B commerce or extend the B2B commerce capabilities to integrate with. Uh, or Salesforce order management solutions, or can talk about how to integrate with uh, SAP or NetSuite with integration enterprise solutions. We'll talk about some licensing and platform cache as well. And in the last session, I think I'd request Abdul to talk about some B2B commerce accredited exams on exam tips and tricks for admin and development exams. And uh, we have, uh, please join our Trailblazer community marketers group as well. So this is the link if anyone not joined, so please join this group as well. It's available in uh, community Trailblazer community. You can just click on Trailblazer community and then you can get the relevant updates, make you as a member here. 
and after that uh, our group in 2022 agenda so we are almost done with the b2b commerce cloud series uh, just two more topics are left and after that march onwards we are going to start the cdp series and the next two months after that we would like to start the cross cloud integration series with uh, amazon web services google cloud snowflake or uh, robotic process automation marketing tools integrations with salesforce marketing cloud and uh, in last we're going to cover about velocity industry series as well some energy and utilities cloud and uh, and we're going to talk about the basics of uh, basics of uh, all the velocity uh, development consulting and all the experiences we're going to bring some good audiences so we're going to bring some good uh, presenters as well so keep looking our group and you will get some good insights as we're going forward and again thank you for joining i hope this session is very well useful and i'll keep joining the sessions and learn something out of the box thank you thank you thank Just you all questions. thank you fundo uh do we have any series fields of is lighting fsl no sandeep sorry <laughs> the fsl we're not going to give, we're not uh, you know giving but i'm um, more towards this session where cdp is something growing product and it requires some significant uh, useful for all the, across the enterprise enterprise systems and cross cloud integrations also required for all the people who want to learn more than salesforce and uh, and velocity as well it's a new uh, series it's a new industry cloud i would recommend all to learn velocity so that there's a huge and handsome salaries in the velocity so starting one year people are getting 10 lakhs and 15 lakhs and so so that's the intention in order to grow uh, grow our community uh, with the sales force at the same time helping all the community people as well okay so any of this if you learn the the packages are very handsome in outside so that's what my intention to grow people uh, to get some good salaries and then make family proud so great guys thank you so much and uh, keep watching us thank you again and happy have a happy weekend stay safe don't go anywhere okay stay with the family enjoy the family bye bye bye